Welcome back, Grace Bible Fellowship Children's Church. I'm glad you joined me again this morning. I want you to think this morning about who are some superheroes? Maybe you thought of Superman, or Black Panther, or Batman, or Spider-Man, or Wonder Woman, or how about mom, mommy, madre, mama, mutter, whatever you want to call her, these ladies that are in this picture. Did you know moms have superpowers too? They can heal scratches with a band-aid and a kiss and they can conjure up yummy, nutritious food for you to eat, and they can fly around and take you to soccer practice and church and friends' houses and school. They have x-ray vision and can find missing homework or socks that are hiding. They have super energy to clean the house and do the yard work and do the laundry. They have super flexibility and they can become your teachers when the schools are closed. They have a shield that can protect you when there's a thunderstorm and you're afraid of the lightning and the thunder. They have super hearing and they can listen for hours about how your day went. So if you haven't figured it out already, today is Mother's Day. So we're talking about your mom and all she does for you. And if you haven't already today, make sure you give her a hug and tell her you love her. So let's see, we're going to look today about what the Bible has to say about the attitude that we should have towards our moms. And this is also true for your, your dads or your foster parents or your grandparents or whoever's raising you, but we're going to look specifically at moms this morning since it's Mother's Day. So let's take a look at God's Word. It says in um, Deuteronomy 5.16, and this is when God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. And commandment number five tells us to honor our father and mother. So Deuteronomy 5.16 says, Honor your father and your mother as the Lord your God has commanded you, so that you may live long and it may go well with you in the land the Lord your God is giving you. And we also want to take a look at Ephesians 6, 1 through 3. And that says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother which is the first commandment with the promise, so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. Two more verses we're going to look at are in the book of Proverbs. The first one is Proverbs 1, 8 and 9, and it says, Listen, my son, to your father's instruction, and do not forsake your mother's teaching. They are a garland to grace your head and a chain to adorn your neck. And finally, Proverbs six twenty tells us, my son, keep your father's command and do not forsake your mother's teaching. So that was a lot of verses that we looked at that talk about the attitude that we should have toward our mom or our parents. So let's take a look at what those verses mean. So they tell you to honor your father and mother. So honor is more than just obeying or doing what they say, and that's very important. We should obey our parents and do what they say, but honoring gives us that heart attitude that comes with obeying. It's treating your mother with love and respect. And last week we talked about grumbling and complaining. So if your mom asks you to clean up and you clean up, but the whole time you're doing it, you're stomping your feet and mumbling under your breath and slamming the toys, is that really honoring your mother? Not really. So how about if you eat your dinner with thankfulness even if it's Brussels sprouts. Is that honoring your mother? Yeah, that is. How about if you're complaining to your friend about how your mom is so mean and she won't let you watch that TV show that all the other kids get to watch? Is that honoring your mother? Not really, no. How about telling your mom the truth, even if it might get you in trouble? Is that honoring your mother? Yes, that is. How about telling your mom you love her? Is that honoring her? Definitely, yes. So the verse says that it is a command that you honor your father and mother. Not just a suggestion, but it's a command from God. And it comes with a promise. Did you catch that? So the promise says, if you obey, it will go well with you. Now that doesn't mean that life is going to be perfect because we live in a sinful world 
and that doesn't mean that things are going to be perfect for us, but it will go better for us if we obey our parents than if we disobey. So think about it. If mom tells you to eat your vegetables and you don't and all you eat is junk food, your body is not going to be very healthy, is it? You're not going to have the strength to do the activities that you want. Your teeth are going to be gross. It will not go well with you. But if you obey and you eat your vegetables, your body will be healthy and strong and you'll have the energy that you need to grow. It'll go well with you. Think about too, if mom says, don't play in the road and you go out and play in the road, it's not gonna go well with you. But if you obey, you'll be safe. So Ephesians also tells us to obey your parents in the Lord. So mom and dad have the most important job of teaching you to follow Christ, follow Jesus. So if you're hearing this this morning, that means that your parents are already taking God's commands to teach you very seriously. So thank you, mom and dad, for, for that. So more than anything, your mom wants you to become a child or an adult who loves God and loves others and serves God so that one day you can teach your kids that same thing. So I have a little confession. Moms aren't perfect. Sometimes we mess up. We live in a sinful world. Sometimes we burn dinner or we forget to sign the permission slip for school or we lose our temper and we snap at you. So one way that you can honor your mom is to forgive her when she messes up because she's human too. Another way you can honor her is to pray for her because moms have a really tough job and you better believe that they're praying for you so you can be praying for them. That's another way that you can honor your mother. So how else could you honor your mother? Well, we said pray for her. 1 John 3.18 helps us out too. It tells us, Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. So you can show your mom that you love her. Moms love to hear you say, I love you. Your words and your actions can match. You can clean up without having to be asked. Or you can help fold the laundry. Or you can help make mom her favorite cup of tea or coffee or hot chocolate. Show her that you love her. So if you want to read an example of a super mom this week, in the Bible, check out Exodus 2, verses 1 through 10, and that talks about a mom named Jochebed, and she was the mother of Moses. And if you read in Exodus, you'll find out that she loved her son so much that she hid him in a basket in the Nile River to protect him. So another fun story that you can read with mom this week is the story Love You Forever by Robert Munch. And I cannot read this without crying, so mom's fair warning. And we'll put a link in the description in case you don't have a copy of the book for a video that you can watch it with your mom. So that would be a fun activity to do with mom this week. We also put a link in the description for a My Mom's a Superhero page that you can fill out and let mom know some things that you really appreciate about her and you can color that in really nicely. Another thing you can do for mom this week is sing the Happy Mother's Day song. And I did not write this, I found this, and it's sung to the tune of Happy Birthday. It goes, Happy Mother's Day to you. Thanks for everything you do. Happy Mother's Day, I love you. Happy Mother's Day to you. So you can sing that for mom today and let her know that you love her. You can also memorize Ephesians 6.1, which says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. So that when you are tempted to not honor your father and your mother, that you'll have this verse to help you remember to obey your parents. Um, another thing, if you haven't already given your mom a Mother's Day gift, you don't have to worry about going shopping and buying something expensive. You can make her a Mother's Day flower. So this is just taking some paper, tracing your hand for the petals of the flower, and tracing your feet for the leaves of the flower. And if mom or dad, or 
can help you find a picture to put in the center. This is a great way for mom to see how you're growing from year to year and how she's helping you grow and you can write a nice little message on the leaves for her. So those are some ways that you can honor your mother this week on Mother's Day and all through the year. So let's pray real quick and thank God for our mothers. Lord, we thank you so much for each family that's watching this. We thank you again for the technology that allows us to meet in this way. We thank you for moms everywhere, Lord. We thank you for the love and the guidance that they provide. We thank you uh, that they are there for us no matter what, Lord. We pray that you would bring an extra special blessing for each mom today um, and that you would just help her to know how much she's loved by you and by her family. Lord, we pray that you would help us to show them how much we love them. Uh, we pray this in your name. So being a mom is a full-time job. And it's not just 40 hours a week like most full-time jobs. It's 24-7. And moms do it without getting a paycheck. They do it because they love. They love you. They love God. So we should be loving them in return. And one day is awesome for taking a special time to let moms know you love them. But make sure that you're letting your mom know every day how much you love her because they're a gift from God. And gifts from God sometimes come in people form and they come in the form of moms sometimes to raise us with love and kindness and teach us more about God. So make sure today and every day that you're giving your mom a hug and telling her and showing her that you love her. Thanks for joining me.